this video we are going to find proximity measure for the mixed attribute when data has been given with the different kind of or the mixed kind of attribute you can see this data has been given this is this data matrix we see we have the nominal data we have ordinal data and we have numerical data now we have to find out the proximity measure dissimilarity for this given data set so what we have to do so first you assume that you have only the nominal data you assume you don't have these two data we have just this data okay for this nominal you find out the dissimilarity matrix so uh, please uh, visit my previous video where i have already explained in detail how to find out the nominal uh, dissimilarity matrix so from this part we find out this matrix okay for the nominal this is for the nominal then for the ordinal also you find out this table with the help of my previous video so when you solve the ordinal mat ordinal dissimilarity only assume this data so i assume we have already done this two part now we start for the numerical data so how to solve the numerical in the context of mixed attribute so what you have to do we have to normalize this data normalize what is the meaning of normalize means in such a way we have to frame this data between 0 to 1 how to do that with the help of this exam this formula so so dif or djf means if you want to calculate this part forget about this two okay just consider this so i have already given here id 1 2 3 4 test data 45 22 64 28 so i represent this record j represent this record right so what you have to do and find out what is the max in this max is the 64 and what is the mean is the 22 okay so now apply this formula this formula is says if you find out and again as per the uh, dissimilarity matrix it will be zero right there is no any distance between the same uh, number 1 1 2 2 3 3 0 okay so let me first calculate the 2 1 2 1 what do we do so this is the i and this is the j right sorry this is the i and this is the j okay so this value 45 and 22 so mod of 45 Minus twenty two, max minus mean, max sixty four, and minus twenty two. Okay, so what this data value will become here? Two and three, right? And then difference is four two. And if you solve this, it will become point five five. You put this point five five here. the same way we can find out the 31 right so d 31 this time this is the i and this is the j right so 45 64 so 45 64 max mean max mean would be the same right so if you calculate it become the 0.45 so this is the 0.45 right now calculate this part 3 2 so this time this is the i this is the j 3 2 means 64 22 right so 3 2 64 yeah, 64 or 22 in any way you can take it this is because modulus so no problem and the same 64 22 if you take it become the uh, if you take up value is the 23 and down is the 42 right 32 so 64 oh sorry is the 64 down the 44 
okay so then both would be the same and this is the one so this is the one now the same way if you calculate this become dot 4 0 and this become dot 4 1 4 and this will come 0 0.86 now we have all the individual dissimilarity matrix right so we have the nominal we have the ordinal and we have the numerical so nominal ordinal numerical we calculate individually right now how to put all together so to putting all the together we have formula here so let me first draw the, our final matrix One, two, three, four. So this time, this similar, this similarity matrix for this data set, right? For this data set, complete all together, right? All together, and I we know between one to one, two to it will become the zero. Okay. Now first understand what this formula says. This says summation of one by p means for all the attribute this is the f1 f2 f3 we have to do for all the attributes right and delta ij so i and j so in this case it become the i and this is the j if you want to find out the 2 and 1 d and 2 1 so if you say d 2 1 so this is the i or this is the j or you can change opposite also no problem okay what says if d i j equal to 0 when when x i f or the x j f missing means if any value i or j is missing then keep this value 0. So, for the missing of any data for the i and the j, then delta would be the 0. Or, if any data is 0, in that case also keep the value 0. If asymmetry binaries, otherwise in all the case we have to put 1. So, we can see in our case we do not have any missing data when we do not have any zero value. So, throw out the formula we have to use the delta i j is equal to value 1. Let me start putting the formula what I say. He says d i j as d i j is 1 in all the formula and d i j d i j for the each one. So, for the nominal d i j 2 1 is the 1 right. So, take this one again 1 is a summation 1 this one for the d i j and then this time take the ordinal one this one plus 1 again 1 for the d i j delta i j and this time this point 5 5 and bottom d i j this one plus this one plus this one if you calculate all three values, it should become 2 plus 0.55 t. So, 2.55 t and answer would be the 0.85. So, this is the 0.85. Take the another one d31. So, again d i j 1 3 1 what is the data 3 1 here in this case this one right take the 1 plus 1 delta i j and from this matrix 0.5 plus 1 into here 0.45 and 1 1 1 so, 1, 1, 1. If you calculate this value, 
it will come it will come 0.65 yes so this will come 0.65 okay and this is the way we have to do that so if you calculate the same way your final answer would be the 0 0.13 0 0.83 this will be the 0.71 and 0.79 so this is the final D similarity matrix for the given mixed attribute and I would recommend please visit the previous video to understand how I calculate this matrix and uh, please don't forget to subscribe this channel it motivate me a lot to generate a lot of new videos thank you very much